Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I will continue with the chest imaging made easy course. Alhamdulillah. Wa salatu wa salam ala rasulullah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ajma'in. اللهم انفعني بما علمتني وعلمني بما ينفعني وزدني علما إنك العليم الحكيم اللهم اخرجنا من ظلمات الوهم واكرمنا بنور الفهم وافت علينا بمعرفة العلم وسهل أخلاقنا بالحلم آمين وأجمعين اللهم ارزقني نعمة الإخلاص لوجهك الكريم بكل ما أقول وبكل ما أفعل my lecture today is continuation on the lecture six, dominant abnormal pulmonary patterns. I will talk about the mass. As we said in the previous lecture, the only visible structures in the lungs are fissures and main bronchovascular vessels. Any other structure like ab abnormalities and other visible structure likely abnormal. I will discuss the dominant abnormal pulmonary patterns and I will tackle on the mass lesion. As we said previously, we have dominant abnormal pulmonary pattern. We have the mass, the consolidation, interstitium, vascular, and airway. Today, I will discuss the mass. As we said previously, atelectasis is not, is not a pattern, but it is mimic consolidation and obstructive atelectasis. Mass, mechanism of the mass, Local, it is a local destruction of the lung parenchyma. And can, what are the features of the mass? Any localized obesity not completely bordered by fissure or blower. Distribution can be random and non, not global. And the mass can be large or small nodule solid or cavitated, smooth or lobulated, and solitary or multiple. And the, regarding the, doesn't matter regarding the size or the contour and the location. As we see in this just X-ray, we have a calcified mass on the left our zone and it is a hematoma. Here another patient with uh, cavitating lung lesion with uh, Wigner's nodule. Here patient with uh, cav another cavitating lung lesion with air fluid level due to lung abscess. Here, another cavitating lung lesion with thick wall with some fluid level seen posteriorly, and it is another patient with lung abscess. And here, multiple masses due to carcinoid, patient with carcinoid. And here, another patient with mass lesion in the lower zone, and it is soft tissue density on the CT scan, and it is fibroma. Here, mass lesion on the right mid-lower zone, and it is hydratus cyst. And this is the CT scan of this patient with fluid density. And here another patient, uh, 62 years with multiple cannon balls uh, due to lung cancer from, from primary lung cancer. Other differential diagnoses include 
hybo nephoma, seminoma, sarcoma, colon, metastasis, prostate, covio, breast, carcinoma. We have another patient with metastasis. We have another patient with nodule, with cavitating nodule, with uh, enlargement of the left hilum due to carcinoma. And the mass differential diagnosis, general differential diagnosis of the mass lesion include malignancy, either primary or metastasis, lymphoma, granulometas disease, either infection or non-infective, inflammatory disease, non-granulometas like also include infarction, pneumonia, abscess, benign masses, and congenital, uh, congenital mass lesion. Infectious like granulomatous disease, like fungal TB, non infectious like sarcoidosis. It is included in that. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika, shadu la ilaha illa ant, astaghfiruka wa atubu lik. This is a brief talk as you listen on the mass lesion with some example and differential diagnosis. Thank you for listening and hoping to see you soon in another talk.